Hello and welcome back to Joe Teaches Al Dwarf Fortress. I'm Joe. I'm Al. We're going to the Magma Sea. We got some immigrants. Everything's turning up dwarven. Or Let's whatever. Let this run and yeah, we got to get our dwarven dwarves on the screen for a new migrant wave. Got a giant migrant wave at the beginning of the last one. Yeah, I mean, we're just... Uh, <laughs> it's possible. Honestly, these statues are like ramping up the value so much. Let's check that out real quick, actually. For those Furniture, of you who don't know, we are cranking 000. out Masterpiece Statue out of ma after Masterpiece Statue. They are now far and above the most valuable thing in the fort. We have Michelangelo hard at work. We have our giant... You, show them, if the, for those of you who haven't seen, show them the giant statue stockpile. So that's... <laughs> I haven't counted. I, what's the math on that? Have you done the math on how, much, I have how not. many it will hold when it's done? I was going to say, it was funny that we were just sitting in the way. We had to figure out some stuff about stockpiling statues which is never anything i'd really had to look into before so they were what was the issue there i don't know if i ever got a clear example so they they you had statues on but not from a specific type of stone so i'll go to it in a second right now i'm just gonna set up this dormitory because i feel bad that i didn't ask yeah. at the time but i didn't realize that i didn't understand exactly what was going on until just now when i tried to describe it <laughs> and i tend to do things Joseph's building beds without in his explaining dormitory. them. So over yeah. here in the stockpile settings, we had statues on over your type of thing, but we also had all of the stone off and all of the qualities off. Now, I don't know the difference between core quality and total quality here, but it was saying, okay, so statues are in, but no gypsum, earthenware, stoneware, etc. is allowed in. So nothing. We were so, making statues out of stone, so they weren't yes. happy with that. To me, that seems like an odd. I guess you can just have a stockpile of. It just seems odd. You could have, have just it, like clay statues. Yeah, I don't think there's any other. So like in, uh, where's armor? Where's armor? Um, armor. There it is. Yeah, I guess you do have to decide which metal. I have never really encountered that though before. Uh, where you have to have two. But it's not in a separate because that's in a subcategory of the armor. The thing that threw you with the statues was you click statues and it didn't ask you for the different types of statue. True. But here, I could have shirts on but not have metal on. Or have all materials off but have gauntlets on. Okay. And I don't think, I think it's the same. I think it's the same thing. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, but, lesson learned. Joe learned something as well. We're trying to dig down to the Magma Sea. We're in. This is the new hotness. Literally. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> we're, we're with you, Joe. All right. So the reason this gets wonky is because this is all warm stone because there's a giant lava sea underneath it. And maybe above, so, because obviously there is some lava at our level. Oh, no, we're... Oh, wait, no, no, right, right, we know for sure that it's not over here. I'm dumb. Yes. Um, <sighs> I don't know why I was thinking that we could accidentally dig into a pocket somewhere. and it. Would... <laughs> well, it's a worry. It's always a worry when you're tinkering with lava. But watch, if I try and have a guy just dig straight... And I believe I have this down. Again, new updates come through a lot, so maybe this has been tweaked. But we're going to do this and see what happens. But in the past, what would happen was if you encountered uh, Warm Stone, he would cancel a designation and you'd have to redesignate one mm -hmm. square at a time. Yes. And yep. that's what happened. Paused. He's like, whoop, warm nope, it's warm. Can't do it. And then you have to go in and redesignate. So what I do... So he cancels where the actual warm stone is. That's nothing. And then they can't get into the further digging. So I just go one at a time. But I sort of do it. I mean, I go, well, D first off. Let's mine that and not. Okay. So just go along the outer rim. It's a little hokey at first, but eventually you sort of wide enough, en enough out where you're just doing long strips off like one side and you get a nice room. I think that's sort of the quickest you can do oh, it I get what you're saying. So because he canceled that dig, because he located warm stone, he couldn't get to the further stuff. But if you're yes. designating along a wall, the well, actual stuff they've already told you is warm, they'll dig freely. Okay. So what? So yes, you can see it happening here. I do. I do. I did. Yeah, that's that a, that's very strip. clever. Yeah. Well done. Uh, uh, Rith Astatal is what? <laughs> I said, did you come up on that with that on your own? <laughs> I did. Okay. I got the idea when I was telling them to dig the places they would dig. We have a Fey mood. Fey! Mm, he's going to he claim something, so I'm just sticking around. Hopefully he's going to claim something. 
Where's he well, at? I'm waiting. Do we, do we know where quick. he is? But we don't. I mean, it brought me to this lever. This lever. This layer. So he's he was around here, and I assumed he just walked to a. I was looking for a guy thing. with an exclamation point, and I can't see. I it. also, if he doesn't have the right workshop, he should be standing there saying, "Oh, he's up at the temple." And I think. Oh, there, there he is. is. So he does not have the workshop he wants. Now we were told, when someone goes fey, I don't feel like dealing with that. Let's just go into the announcements and see who it was. Rith. Astatol, Rick Astley. So let's find Rithin here. Astatol, okay. Someone said that the somewhere in here highest mutable skill, carpenter. Look at that. But we have a carpentry bench. Hmm. Do we have I, carpenter? I, I can't move the arrow to where that is on this large screen because it'll. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, it'll turn off. It's underneath all the skills. Highest mutable skill. Someone I thought told me that that was a way to tell what. Oh, he dreams of creating a masterwork someday. He hates fire snakes. <laughs> Can you look at his other skills? What else does he have toggled on that he's good at? Good point. Um, Nothing. This guy has... <laughs> he's the bottom one here. He's got some wood crafting, and that's it. It's going to be it's amazing. Gonna... It could be a bow. It, it could, could be. be a bow. He, he's a, he, he's we'll decent at bowyery. 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 Yeah. And, and I have to have a carpenter, right? Yeah. Making bows. Whoops, that's not how you do that. There we go. We're going to put a brewery up here. This that's is part... way more uh, focused than just building every craft work workshop that you could find. <laughs> yes. Yes, <laughs> this list. is a slightly better method. Okay, so thank you to uh, the listener who uh, or the viewer who point, pointed that out that potential better way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you set up your barracks, Joe. I gotta say, that's nice. How you get spaced out the beds and they're not up against the wall. Yeah. It's not how I would have done it. I wouldn't <laughs> have spaced cool out the beds that. and they would have been against the wall, but I like how you're doing it. Um, One thing, do we even have anyone on Bowery? Because you need at least one to build it, and I got no one. So. That guy's a 13 Mr. at it. Mr. Rith, though, is going to be our. Ah, where'd he go? He's up here now. You're not going to make the guy... Oh, wait, no, he's a, a 13 at Carpenter. He's going to build his own thing. Wait, will he? He might not. He might be locked he might in. Not. He might another to build it. Okay. The 13 guy can do it. He's really good at Carpentry. Bovim Zogbo. Wait, no, yeah, he is. Yeah, he's... I thought we had a 13 Bowyer, and, I, and I, I was not wrong. You were not wrong. It just was not Rith. No, but there's something else you clicked and tried to do, and then it threw, sort of level 13 Carpenter, and that threw me off, because I'm like, oh, I guess I was one off. Uh... Also, right, we have a level 13 carpenter. Maybe we should do something with that. Isn't that Jesus? Is it Jesus? Is <laughs> I don't know. It's, I thought Jesus was my carpenter. He's my co-pilot. Jesus is... All right. <laughs> Where is Rith? No, not Rith. Bulgar Barger Burger. What was he doing? Well, Rith left the temple. He is doing nothing. You should be building a freaking bowyer or a carpentry or... Maybe he's... Fey Mood Bowyer. Oh, okay. It actually says it here. That's even handier. That's nice. <laughs> That's cheating, but it's nice. Yes. Agreed. Unless there's some... Oh, look at this. You know what I never noticed? Uh, everything else is red. It actually locks down other... Other tasks? Wait. Yeah, wait, no. Stuff he doesn't have on yet, I guess, is locked down. I cannot do anything with weaponsmithing. He still ain't going to the... Has it been built yet? Okay, there he goes. That guy's building the bowyer. Is he still in the temple? Because I don't see the exclamation point anymore. They might be stacked three or four there deep in the temple. <laughs> yeah, you, it's it's sweaty in that temple, man. Yeah. They are worshiping to their heart. Perhaps content. I'll dig a new temple. He's off. Uh, also, let's keep at it with this. Um, I'm gonna just so this gets easier in a second. I'm gonna actually. Couldn't you just build? Dig, doesn't need a big square over all that. Again, so they'll dig one in. Well, yeah, but I mean. In, it does, does the, hit warm stone. So well, she sort of the top and then went down, and they're gonna like this. Yeah. Okay. They're obviously not gonna do further in, but it would be better than just I'll, going I'll, one, 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 I'll one. I'll show you. Okay. We will try it this way. We'll do an experiment, okay. a scientific method, all of that stuff, things and bolts all that and jazz. levers. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm about to be wrong. 
Pause, pause, unpause, 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 unpause. That's the problem. You don't want to have to keep hitting unpause. No, that's not it. That's not that bad. Okay. Problem is, they undesignate the warm stone. Right. I'm just saying you could do the same square again. Uh. Rather than uh, yes. I, I'm just saying it might be easier than going along the wall, one at a time, like that. Yeah, and then the pausing gets in the way. Okay. With my way, there's... You said the pausing um, wasn't yes, the problem, yes. Joe. I, well, I and then I, I had 17 that. of them. I got... Now it's the problem. Okay. It's all the problem. Everything's the problem. Yes. <laughs> How much uh, yeah. lava do you need, by the way? Uh, you need one square of exposed lava per workshop. Okay. And they have to be next to or in adjacent to the workshop? They have to be above it. It's like uh, windmills. Remember that? Above the workshop? How are you going to build the workshop the, under the, the... workshop has to be above the lava. Okay. So this channel down to seven deep, I could build a workshop on top of that, a magma workshop. But I want to clear out some space and think this through a bit. It's not exactly like the windmill was on top of the workshop. But it has to be... Correct. ...in a Z-level with... Directly above or below? It can't be more than one above? Never... Can they go two down, you mean? That I'm not sure of. I've never really actually... Well, could we build one up here, you mean? Yeah. Oh, well, let's try. Build workshop. Also, you'll notice... Well, no, actually, on this level, I can't. It knows. See this list? Yeah. Never mind. There it is. Magma Forge. <laughs> I don't have my anvil. Uh, all right, let's try and build a magma smelter above this lava and see what happens. Oh, I guess you can build it anywhere. It'll let you foolishly build it anywhere. <laughs> Whether or not it'll work, it does not say. Because I can build it here, and that certainly isn't above any lava. Okay. So that is not the test I was hoping it would be. And you don't want to have to wait to find out? Yes. We can, do, we can run that test later. Or maybe someone in our... So I'm taking your foolish large square poppycock off. Yeah, I was just asking. I didn't say you had to do it. I... With your witchcraft. What I'd like to do is get it so it's just one. Uh, like, not do this and let it catch up. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, just boop, one boop, line? Boop. So you just go chink and then chink? Yes. And, okay. Well, I'm not saying racial slurs while I do it, but... <laughs> it's an automatopoeia! <laughs> Whatever you want to call it, man. <laughs> also, since I only have the one anvil, and I didn't see... I didn't see irons in my... Uh, smeltable metals. Right. It's not great. So, I'm going to turn off... Remove that anvil. I'll get remove that anvil. Remove that metal smith's forge. I'll get that anvil back, and I can set it up as a magma forge. Okay. Also... Is this guy crafting? Did he go get stuff? Is he being... He's been clay. He's a rock block. Cut gems. He's screaming. Rough gems? Got... <laughs> I don't know if I have any rock blocks. I must there. have logs! I must have He's cut gems! standing there at his workshop. For the love of God! <laughs> Everyone's like, ugh! <laughs> this again. Talk about suffering for your art. <laughs> He's not even like in like a cool arty way doing it. He's just like, ah, blah, blah, blah. where is my canvas? It's not like I need rock blocks. People are like, wow, look at the gravitas on him. He's just like, blah, blah, blah. they're like, ah, someone get him a rock block. <laughs> hey, you're almost there. Yep, I am. You're there. Hooray! It's on the left side there, anyway. Well, I kind of want to go only that. Okay. Well, now you're going to build it out. So now you're now you've undone. Well, no, I sort of. Well, okay, yes. Also, you did my giant square thing just without. Now you can. It, it makes there's no pausing. Okay. He's started, saying it was not off. completely foolish. No, but the way you went about it threw me off. Well, I wasn't going to go about it exactly the way you went about it, Joe. 
I was not able to describe it adequately for you to do the thing I wanted you to do. Everything has been thrown into chaos. What is what is the bowyer guy yelling about now? Is he working or? He started work. Yeah. Okay. He uh, so you get a pause when they go into the mood, a pause when they claim a workshop, and a pause when they start work. Giant elephant seals is all I see at the lower left. Oh, that doesn't know. sound good. What? What's? Oh, a statue. Oh, okay. It's pretty funny. Dwarves, Samuel Adams. <laughs> Statues. A, a statue awesome. of the a giant elephant seal would be the same as a statue of a regular elephant seal, right? I don't know if they're different species or whatever. Well, giant what things are what like one hundred times bigger than the regular ones. He's not making a yeah. hundred times bigger than an elephant seal statue. It wouldn't fit in the. You don't know that. You don't, I guess don't limit I, Michelangelo like that. I guess because things only take up one square, regardless of how big they are. Yeah, that make that take that. Could all thing. right. Build workshop. I'm assuming the workshop upstairs got knocked down. Yes, it's letting me do this. Important tip: in whatever tool set tile set you're using, you will have some X's that are darker and some X's that are lighter. When you get to this point of building a building, and in this tile set, they're actually a lot nicer. Color. You can actually see, yes. Do you remember what that means? It means that those are going to be impassable. Yes. So a great way to ensure that nothing bad comes up is to make the square that's over the magma an impossible, impassable square. Oh, I didn't think about that. Because baddies can come up. There are flying bad guys, and there are certain lava, certainly lava-based bad guys, and that can get bad. That's a wow. So you just have your magma forge and then some like lava snake comes up and grabs your guy. Never happened to me, but uh, yeah, there's plenty of warnings <laughs> in all of the writings about that. Awesome. Yeah. You definitely get fire snakes popping their heads up. Those aren't too bad though. They're pretty killable. Dun, 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 dun. Uh all right, I was going to channel out. He made a uh, maybe a crossbow. crossbow. He's at, he's, he's at the bowyers, so that's that's not bad. I'll take that. Oh, it is rubber wood. I was making a joke. <laughs> I, I was also making a joke. Wood. He made a rubber, a long rubber wood crossbow. Whatever the hell that is, the worthless dents. <laughs> it's fantastic. Diorite cones and brown brilliant green. The object is adorned with hanging rings of rubber wood and tea wood, and menaces with spikes of chert. On the item is the image of a narrow crescent in diorite. That's okay. All right. Not terrible. Not exactly wowing me. Um, wow. Wow. Autumn has arrived on the calendar. I'm going to bump the idea of uh, doing a military again, even though I know mm -hmm. you're working on your magma. No, the magma is pretty cleared out. I've explained all I can, so uh, I'll probably keep doing that bit by bit. Uh, so i got to put smelters. Well... Let's see. You could do Magma Forge, which is the metal ship's forge, but does not need wood. Or, uh, sorry, charcoal. Smelter, same deal. Glass furnace, same deal. And Can't do glass kiln. without sand, though, which is another thing that we were Correct. ongoing with and have not solved. Correct. Does it usually take this long for you to save? It varies, but yeah, this isn't okay. unheard of. Usually happens slightly faster for me. And I was getting a little bit freaked <laughs> out also. So we're going to build... Right, I gotta figure out where I want my channel. Uh, okay, there. And I know you can't see what I'm talking about, but he's, uh, he's got it. figuring out where the darker where channel square would down. go, so he could channel down, so that it'll be pretty with his other. Yes. Dads. I wonder if that gem just fell right into the, because <laughs> there was a gem on top of the square. He just. We'll never it's... know. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Glass furnace. Top center also. So we can... Whoa! What happened? I don't know. I was in the wrong thing and I moved the screen more than I expected. Okay. Each. And while we're here, we'll... Uh, Break. Drink. We'll check out the kiln, which I also think is top center. Yes. And we will figure out where to put that channel downward to a lava square. It's probably bigger out here. Everything's top center except the magma forge. So is it lava or is it magma? Uh, you're gonna have to actually educate me on the difference there. I think one of like I think either one or the other is outside the earth. 
It does sound familiar. So, uh, if it's spewing out its magma and or lava, I want to say magma is spewing out and lava is under the ground. Okay. It's one of those things like magma. difference between asteroid and meteorite. Yes, that sounds familiar. One of them's flying around and one of them hits you on the head. It needs any metal smithing? What is my metal smith doing? It needs architecture. I haven't even built that one yet. Uh, that was a smelter. That was okay. Build. That was my glass furnace. So we have the four fundamental magma doodads being built. Forge is built. Can now create things without needing charcoal. It's so nice. Okay. It's a long process. Once these get built, we're going to do some stockpiling. Actually, I was going to say, you want to have stockpiles and stuff down here, right? So Because yeah, that's a long trip up those stairs yes, to get whatever is. materials you want. Yep. I'll make sure they're all built. I'm actually going to do a dump of this room. Hello, sir. Oh, I got a wheelbarrow. A little worried that something went wrong here. Okay, it still needs masonry. I was going to say, did that not? Construction suspended. Needs architect. I don't know. Okay, something about superior glitter. Master Priest Gabbro statue. Statue. Michelangelo uh, cranking them out. But what's the, what's superior glitter? It's better than inferior glitter, Joe. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I, seems pretty clear to me. That's, this is true. Don't fall in, cat. Okay. Well, that guy looks like he's done or close to it. Yep. Two bottom ones are done. The smelter is looking like it's getting built. Okay, everything's up and running. <laughs> now I'm going to dump this room so I have a clean slate to designate stockpiles on. All right, so by the smelter we want ore. Right? Hello. What? Hello what? What happened? I moved around. Oh, okay. So here's our smelter. Right. Ore is a stone. What up? So we're going to do a couple different piles of ore. One, two, and then kind of a... It's bothering me that that's off center from the other one. Or is, is it? it? No, okay. I thought you had one that went all the way to the wall there. No, it's just the way the stones that are being dumped Are they going to be different stockpiles? Yes. Okay. I'm probably going to do a lot more copper. So we're going to change settings down to stone. We definitely don't want... Economic other clay. I just want. Okay, I'm actually going to forbid all of these and then go over so I can select one instead of going through and deselecting 20. Tetrahedrite. Copper which makes copper. Or copper nuggets. That's my copper stockpile. Down here we're going to have same thing stone, but no economic. What is economic stone? Uh, so that's either stone you can make pottery out of, porcelain out of. You can use as flux stone to make steel. Um, Is it economic in the sense that you dry, ride economy class and yes, uh, you cheapo do stuff not that get a complimentary about? drink. Uh huh. Yes. All right. Uh, I actually don't know. Do you remember offhand some of the things I have? I have Galena, right? Like I do one. not Galena. remember offhand, Joe. Well, what we're gonna do is go to the smelter and check. It's failure right, consider right. Can you pop over and look up Galena? I think that's lead. It's failureite and cassiterite. Working on it. And I'm out of native copper ore. Hmm. Fine, good. Hopefully I have more of that. What am I looking up first? Galena? Yeah. They're all in one chart. All of the smeltable stones. From what I remember. Well, I can actually do four stock. Ore of lead and lead silver. silver. All right, I'll take. Whoops, take Is that. There, I don't. I don't see the chart here. Oh well, you. Yeah, they also have single pages. I'm just looking for the thing I can click on. I can click on or. That might be it. There we go. All right, what do you need here? What is the other one? Sphalerite. Sphalerite <laughs> is zinc. Ugh. Um. Hemet? No. What was the other one I had? Gardnerite? Hang on, let me double check again. Sphaleurite and Cassiterite. Cassette. Cassiterite. Yeah, Cassiterite. Tin. Oh, come on. We've got native gold ore, though. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Golden native gold ore uh, anvil. Can I? Is is, or, is gold... Uh... No, I, just, I, I don't know. I don't think so. Because you need... Uh... That would be a tag. Magma safe. You need magma safe materials. By magma and anvil, you always always need magma safe. What the hell do I have? What are these weirdo Gold things? Gold is not magma safe. Well, poop. Sphalerite and cassiterite, fine. I also am out of copper ore. That's a little worrisome. And then by the smelter, we're going to put bars. A big stockpile of bars. Big so being like four by four. four? Eh, we're going to come down to here. Okay. But we don't want... Whoops. We're not going to have too much charcoal left, but I was smelting some up top for a bit, so we might as well just block all of these. Whoops. That's not what I want. Everything. Forbid everything. I never really come across blocks. So I'm just gonna leave that off. Okay. Did you make them? You can, but I don't. I've never made a metal block. I don't know why I would, and I don't know why I would put it in a stockpile. So you can make stuff out of blocks. The bars is what the what the this guy uses. No, I'm saying, but if you wanted to build like a building out of blocks, you could totally build like a metal block wall or whatever. Uh, that's possible. Yeah. Except I think that pops up. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. That's what I would assume that you would use them for. Here they come hauling all your rocks out. Slowly. Now, something you had mentioned was millinery. Millinery? Yeah, no. Uh, a excavation mining. Yes. Uh, Galena. I don't really. Where was that copper? I had some copper. That's more Galena. What's the dark stuff? Sphalerite. Boo. Ah. I want some hematite. Sphalerite. Rubit cell. Oh, that's a gem. How about copper. that hematite? What, you yeah, want... I don't think I don't think I have any iron. None ever. I'm not finding a lot of. Oh, there's no ores down here. We're gonna do an excavation down here. Ish. And I had native copper. I don't know where that came from, unfortunately. All right, it's macro time though. Record. That's is not the screen I want to be in to record. Silly. D. Okay. Record. That's up here. It flashes record. That's handy. I see that. I'm going to make this a 7 before I forget. And then I'm going to turn off the record because I don't want it to record moving it down to 7. All right. Now it's going to start recording. Mining. Now, when you're recording, you want to be in the D already? Oh. Yeah. Otherwise, you have to do D. This is going to get annoying. What is? All right. Uh, no. Not that. What are you doing? I don't understand. Okay, I got confused about where I was starting. On hit D and move the cursor, I had not done that, even though you said it, and I said yes. Okay. <laughs> now we start recording. Woo! I don't know if you know this, Al, but macros can be a little tricky. Not for me. Down, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is a nice, nice cross section. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're done, right? Record, save, seven by seven. Control L to load the 7x7. Seven seven. It's the only one I have. And then Control P should give us... Yeah, nice. Always a little bit of a kind of shaky moment when you first hit that Control P. Not for you. I mean, you're... No, all my macros are great. Flawless. Never have a problem. And you designate that as a 7, so that's the lowest designation yes. you could have for those of you who were curious about what he was doing that for so that if he decides he wants to mine something else the ex excava excavatory exploratory, exploratory, Let's call it exploratory. Mining, uh will not be a problem oh, right. except for Oops, something happened what oh caravan from malnutrition has arrived <laughs> did that so bowie ever build his oh yeah he built the long rubber wood bow i forgot about that oh all kind of uh plump helmets are growing in your yeah Dirt What's down there. Do? That's kind of neat. So I wonder... Dead sweet pods. Young funky wood. I wonder if they need... So this is just one... I go up a Young level. Young funky and wood growing so it'll... Like, that'll turn into a tree. Well, that's what I was saying. Do I have to dig down? Have higher... Have multiple Z levels for the funky wood to grow into? Because right now it's just a little sapling. Right. Tower cap. Do I have to dig... That's like, exciting. I don't levels? know. 
levers, lever, levers, layers down. You have to have it's soil too, sand. right? Well, this stuff, this red stuff, soily. Yes, but if you dig but down, yes. it's going to turn into rock, won't it? I mean, I don't know how, how deep this goes. The tributary is right here. I imagine it's pretty soily, a couple levels below that. But yes, correct. Actually, I want to try that at some point. Really yeah, that was actually something I was thinking about. But we have a caravan who might have sand. They're going to want some of these statues. So, sir, Mr. Albert Burt, to the Trade Depot. I'm coming! Mr. Albert Burt, to the I'm Trade Depot. I'm fishing right now, but I'll be there in a minute. Select this weird... I mean, we have all these... We're going to just bring all of these podunk ones. These aren't even masterpieces. Have we gone over that? No. I actually always get confused, but see the brackets on either side? You can't see the other side of that, sorry. Because the names are too long. But here, you can see three bars on the left and three bars on the right. Uh-huh. Uh, one bar, one bar. Things, the quality of the thing that did, uh, does, tells you the quality of a thing, and I forget the hierarchy, but I believe it goes one bar, two bars, three bars, plus asterisks, and I'll try and find. I know what a masterpiece looks like. Or I thought I did, but now I don't see any. Yeah, there it is. That wheel. Okay. Is a masterpiece. So that's just helpful, and I'm moving all of the the lower statues to get traded because I don't really care about them. I'm keeping the masterpieces. Although we have a ton of freaking statues, so... An actual ton. As, Probably many more. Actually, statues. that isn't as selective as I thought. Oh my goodness. That's good. That's amazing. Does he not make a masterpiece statue every time? Is it like sometimes he's just he comes in and he just kind of builds a really so. good I mean, statue? Because it looks like... Michelangelo. However, okay, well, while we're here, or thinking about this anyway, let's see what skill level he's at. Also, does everything that's already there count as being at the depot? Like, will they yes. count that? He is at 20, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty good. Yeah. Our stone dealer is at 7. i got to set him doing stuff. Is he not doing stuff? Uh, yes, everything that is there is counted. Are you finished he was the doing the, the bedrooms? bedrooms, but I think he's... Oh, no, there he is. He's still working. Yeah, he's still working on it. Slow. Did I... Build a table and chairs for my... Yes, I did. Or I have some tables and chairs. Anyway, we're going to make a little dining hall. Something I kind of completely forgot about. My poor little dwarves. He's These are starving. Tables. They're just eating on the floor like common preschoolers. They also like this for communal reasons. Yeah. Oh, good. This screen. Yay! Let's discuss your situation, Joe. World the same as it ever was. Enter, <laughs> and then we get A to get past. The, I just love the. What has been? Enter, enter A. Okay, what do we want from them? We asked for them last this, time, by the way. A lot of sand, and I think some pets. And really, I'm just going to do that again because, well, no, we need. We need iron. Yep, you are correct, sir. That's hematite. How do I? All the sand. Remember you were mocking me because I was requesting that they carry dirt with them? I Yes. I still think it's kind of funny. You could have requested the glass and just bypassed that nope. whole step. No. No. Also, I'm not entirely sure how that works. Also, I haven't built my nest boxes. You start going in this game and it just gets... Woo! Iron bars, sir. Lots of iron bars. And you know what? As long as you're doing that, you should bring us some anvils. All right. Now he's going to come back and say, oh, okay, we've okayed that. Here's what your documents look like. Great, yes. What, Somewhere in what, there. What, jaguar leather? We want, we want sand. I know, well, and here's what they want. Leather. They really want battle axes. They really want pearl ash. Great. And that's it. The van. Weirdest, 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 weirdest. Weirdest? Weirdest, weirdest, weirdest. weirdest. That, what is going on with the blinking of the doors? That is the smoother. A smoothing away. Okay. My kitchen in a weird spot. I'm building some more bedrooms. Going to get to that. Starting to multitask a bit. Hopefully you can keep everything straight. What was one thing I said I hadn't done yet? Other than the military, which I keep bugging you about? Um... Nest boxes. Build. Shift N. Nest box. Boop, boop. Shift N. Bloop. Shift N. I kind of wish Bloop. there was a hallway down the middle of that statue stockpile. We can do that. I know that it, they don't need one. Well, 
keep in mind, we're going to then build all these statues somewhere. I'm just saying it looks... <laughs> uh, anyway, it's fine. Well, we can do that when we build them, is what I'm saying. Okay. This is just storage, Albert. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> these you can't look at these statues. Or appreciate them artistically on any level. This is just storage. They built another masterpiece lo uh, level statue of you, by the way. <laughs> the guy loves me. What can I say? Uh, 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 ba -ba. All right. Are you at the depot, sir? Am I? You are. I am. Trade. Did they list? Oh, there's no search. Okay. I forgot about that. Okay. There's also no uh, protection from escape. Correct. So don't hit the escape key. I am going to buy some cheese. First, I'm going to see how much... That's not a lot. How much is that? 2,000? What? Have they not brought the other statues up yet? We're going to give them some time to bring the other statues up. Okay. And, and maybe some gems, because those might be too heavy, I just realized. <laughs> Do you have somebody working on uh, somebody similar to Michelangelo cranking out nice gems, or has he not leveled up that far yet? Uh, he probably worked through all he had when I designated that, and is probably waiting for me to redesignate the latest batch of rough gems. Okay. Yet another thing to try and remember after we get some trading done. The gems are flying up there. That's wonderful. A little disappointed in how... I mean, look at that. Ten... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, those suck, too. <laughs> 125 for a... There not be a statue of here in of me in here. Look at this! Only 125 for a statue of me. What's wrong with that? That's, that's decent. Is it? I have almost no... Look at how much... I mean, uh, that, you need probably eight statues of you to, to trade for a cow? <laughs> Does that... <laughs> That is correct. I, I just find that funny. <laughs> there is no economy in this game, so you have to make assertions like that in order to have some sort of sense. There is an economy, it's just not with money. Well, the thing's about like this is just almost randomly valued. Oh, really? Sort of roll. I, I mean, I don't know what, what it would animals be. Animals, especially pack animals, are you know like uh, cows and stuff, not just pack animals. Okay, that's fair They're enough. Pretty they high. Probably have some, Cave lobsters but it, that only isn't... for ten. I mean, come on, They're, this isn't just willy nilly. Hmm. But it's not based on demand. They aren't asking for these things because they want them and valuing them because they want them. They're asking for them because the game says these are valuable. I think it would be neat if it actually flowed with supply and demand and you had like, you know, if some fort tries to plunk down in the middle of the Arctic and they're like, we need everything, then all of a sudden prices go up and if someone's in the middle of the desert and they're like, we could really use some plants, those are higher for there, like that. I think that would be neat. But I'm not sure how doable that well, is. Well, it would have to be supply and demand for the whole world, though, right? Because if you have your yeah. thing in the desert, they really need plants. Well, that doesn't mean that plants are going to be scarce just because this one fort needs a lot of plants. Yeah, but it means that the traders going there. I, I would like, since they do everything else uh, as the world generates, and yes, sandbag, excellent. But what I'm saying is that the other traders, let's say the trader tries to stiff you and say, I'm going to charge you 800 for plants or whatever. Well, you, I mean, there. if you're going to say this is an economy, then you could also have a trader be, you say, like, well, no, I'll wait for the next guy, and he'll offer me a better price, because that's how competition works in an economy. Yes, uh, so you'd have to assume a fair, fairly... Very complicated. A faster, uh, faster information spread than a real economy. But I would like to see some of that implemented. Okay. I think it, they brought us a ton of freaking sand. Good lord. You, ask, you put it all on Max, I mean... I know. I've never actually used that screen to do anything. I'm happy. That was me saying, good job, guys. Will he take it? Will he take this? Yes, he will. I'm an expert trader. True. Albert is the one trading. We are going to hit T. No, he does not take it. Boo! We have to remove some of the cheese that I asked for. Well, we add more. Uh, oh, have we, are we already sending all this Everything's stuff? trading, yes. I could back out, but then I'd have to re-choose all this stuff again, and I don't feel like doing that. This bin of cloth we're going to take off. Hey, that rhymed. 908? You better be able to make this deal, Albert. What? You can't fathom us ending up with all of those items. He's making a profit of a thousand. Dude, you got to get better at your job. Yeah, I know. All right, we'll take off two of the anvils. How many do we have? We have one in our fort, and we have one. I'm trying to buy one. You know, and I wanted some uh, cheese. But apparently that's... Listen, 
Sometimes you can't get what you want. Okay, will he take this? 1400 I don't know. Well. At this point? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Albert. Well done. The trader from Mal Malnutrition is now on his way. Or I have no job. <laughs> now you, I think you're a fisher, too. This is very interesting. It is also where we're going to throw a barracks. What do you say? Right here? Oh, we're going to put our barracks there? Sure. Okay. There's space. I don't see myself expanding the farms that far. No, I was saying we were thinking about growing trees, so you're going to dig a bunch of channels down also. Yeah, but this little corner is safe. Okay. I think. I'm, I'm declaring it to be so. Did you set your uh, designation above seven this time? I did. Okay. Did you read in I was chatting with this guy in Reddit in the Dwarf Fortress subreddit, the guy who got a bad review of his uh, fort from an elven visitor? The guy wrote a book about how it was just sort of a meh. Oh, oh, um... Maybe I didn't. I think I saw that post, but didn't understand what was happening. I believe, like and again, I'm not <laughs> entirely caught up on everything that happens. I'm making a macro, by the way, for beds. Uh, I shouldn't name that bedrooms because that's going to get confusing later. But whatever. So an elf came in, and from what I gather, the elf then wrote a book about his fort, you know, cavern home or whatever, and was like, it was it was a thing, whatever, not a great fort, or the the book obviously wasn't glowing about his thing. So he put the elf in his tavern room, locked him in there, pumped magma up from the magma sea into the elves fort or elves room, right? right? Killing him. Then he built over the room, he built a glass forge and began making clear glass, which requires a burnt tree. You have to make ash to make clear glass, clear glass over the burnt remains of the elf mixing his spirit with burnt trees just because the guy left a bad review I thought that was brilliant that, that's pretty good that's definitely the getting in the role, play, role playing uh, aspect of this fort yeah I thought that was amazing or mm -hmm. game is what mm -hmm. I meant to say <laughs> <I'm dumb. laughs> meh thing All right, are you making uh, stuff with your kitchen by the way that's a good question I have no idea Dining hall is just spilling out there. There we go. Make that a meeting hall. And my kitchen might have toggled off. Certainly not doing anything with my fish already. I don't know why not. Do I have fish preparers? Yeah, make a lavish meal. Oh, he's just Let's doing it. Let's check our labor. Are we doing... Wait, at the, the rate we're repeating that, somebody should be making masterpiece level, lavish meals by... I don't know. Wolfgang Puck here is not seem to be going too crazy. Uh, is he, what, is he so, working on other stuff? It doesn't look like it. Fish clean. No, I, uh, minor. All right, we're going to make sure we have some fish cleaners, too. Let's go back to... Did we ever we those... look at our new migrant wave that we got? Yeah, of course not. Yeah, prepare a prepare meal. He, you're right, he should be rocking it. I would agree with that. Someone gave me a tip on how to make this a little more manageable, but I forget. What <laughs> Thanks for, for commenting. Thank you and, for commenting, uh, though. Uh, giving us sure. advice. You're a cloth maker. Bone Carver, sure. You can be our Bone Carver. Another armor, weaponsmith, rather. Unfortunately for you, sir, we have a weaponsmith already. Gem Setter, we got plenty of those. You can be Charlie Ward. Ah, we'll make you a crafter. Ugh, spinner, your cloth maker. Fisher, you know what? In your military? <clears throat> yes, probably they will end up there. But right now they're going to help Hall and... Oh, there's a trader. Should I give him your job? No. How, <laughs> how skilled is he? I don't know. Doesn't matter. You, you're the trader. <laughs> uh, 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 now I'm curious about Mr. Wolfgang. Hey, there he has cooked a masterpiece. Man, he heard us talking oh, yeah. about him. Oh, that's Michelangelo. Did he cook some, a masterpiece? He did. Yes, Wolfgang cook, has cooked a masterpiece. That was weird. Say more things, Al. <laughs> Why don't Make fun of other goblins dwarves. appear and attack this fort that is highly it's valued not. but not protected at all with the military I'm wondering <clears throat> I am putting a dump here to get that cleared out and smoothing that 
That's what those two designations. Let's, speaking of that. We're getting close to time, by the way, Joe. So you need to we wrap it up with a bang the... here. Uh, some migrants have arrived. Bang. Are you kidding me? I don't want any more migrants. I want armor stands. Armor stands. I always forget that I can type rock. Five. And weapon rock. Five. So I think in the coming episode, we're going to be doing some housework. We're going to be getting beds for everyone and stuff like that. We've got the Magma Forge going. We're going to do... Oh yeah, we're going to get our temple. I mentioned I have an idea for a giant temple and a tavern. We're going to finally get to those. The fort will have a military... We've got that carved out. We've got armor stands coming. We'll get started on the on the uh, on the basics again, because for some reason we went plowing ahead. Oh, we needed bone. This kind of threw me off my game a bit and the magma sea. But it'll be back to basics next time around. Next time will be boring. Thank you for watching this time. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe, <laughs> and leave a comment. We do read them. It'll be, like, will it be boring. boring. It might be. Look how exciting these beds are! Woo! Hot damn! Ow! Ba-da-cha! Do-do-do-do-do-do-da-da-da-da-da!